What is up in this bitches? This is Nathan and Trisha back here. We are in this bitch today. We are in Japantown, San Francisco, California on this beautiful day. It was raining earlier, but that's the past. All right, so today we're going to be covering the Cherry Blossom Festival. As you can see, we got Cherry Blossom Gut right here. Basically in Japan without a passport, all right? So uh, today's gonna be pretty fun. We're gonna eat some food. We're gonna see some festivities. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get down. Right now we're waiting for our uchi time. Uh, it is... We got a croissant taiyaki and then a taiyaki cone with soft serve. And for this weekend we have a sakura flavor, which is what we're trying. Limited edition sakura flavor. That's what we're going to be getting today. We are right next to some nice scenic, scenic areas. And um, yeah, so while we wait, I thought that I might share some uh, factoids about Japan down here and Cherry Blossom Festival. The first Cherry Blossom Festival was established in 1968, all the way in 68. And uh, it's also known as the Hanami, which directly translates to the Cherry Blossom Viewing. Uh, we're gonna be visiting some other places as well, but for now, I thought that I'd throw some uh, factoids at you guys, get myself used to people looking at me because this, this is gonna be the way I am all day. People are gonna be looking at me, people are gonna be judging me, but who cares? Because I'm doing it for you guys. Isn't that right, babe? Yeah. We don't give a f can't I do give a f but not. I gotta bleep that out. I'm trying to make some money on YouTube here. Daiso Japan is one of the largest stores here in Japan Town. It's a uh, budget friendly store full of cheap goods, but they're quality goods, pretty good stuff. Um, and yeah, still waiting, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. What? What? Or you, oh, you should just ask for another taiyaki. I'll, get, I'll take one. Okay. Is it? It's does a it... dollar fifty more. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. We can just share one. It's all good. Yeah. Usually passion fruit is really good. Their seasonal flavor tofu is pretty good. Uh, their matcha is pretty good too. It's not too bitter. And the taiyaki you can get Philly, but I didn't get a filling. Wow. Oh yeah, filling's right here. You can get red bean, which is traditional. You can get. You did you get a cup or a cone? I got a cone. Yeah. Why did you look at me like that? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. You match your your sweater. Yes, bro. Some time. Yes. There's a QR code on the menu. Uh -huh. You can order ahead of time. Oh, wow. Yeah, thanks for the oh, thank you. Doing the community a service. Dude, <laughs> If you guys didn't know, my, my soon-to-be wife is a food influencer. She has a very nice following. If, uh, if you guys want to follow her, her IG is... It's eating.crumbs because someone took the, the other name that I was thinking of. So. Eating.crumbs at on Instagram. Instagram. On Instagram, yeah. guys. Because <laughs> we got to skip the line. Um, so this is their Taiyaki ice cream. The seasonal flavor for this weekend is Sakura, which is cherry blossom. So I'm very excited. I didn't get it with any fillings or anything, so I'm excited. Oh my gosh, look how crispy that cone looks. I know. Oh, for the croissant Taiyaki, they didn't have any more. Have you ever had this flavor? No, flavor? I haven't had this flavor. I don't even know what it's going to taste like. like a weird aftertaste but it is good it's like it keeps you wanting to eat more it's almost like a light super light matcha i wouldn't say matcha though because matcha is pretty, it can be pretty strong of a flavor go get some real food now <laughs> we actually had dessert first all right guys we're gonna go outside to the actual festival and uh, yeah we just wanted to get Uchi time and uh, yeah I got one more fact for you guys before we start eating right all right Konnichiwa! for you guys that didn't know this is the SF Peace Pagoda it was gifted to the United States by Japan, Osaka to be exact. As a sign of friendship, just like the state, uh, Statue of Liberty. Isn't that right, babe? She's still trying to get that flavor. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Very good. Onward. That's crazy. Yeah, she's got uh, she's half corgi, half koyazi. Oh wow! Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Oh my 
His or her name? Uh, her name is Asuka. Asuka? Hello, Asuka. Oh, she's so calm. She's so calm. Love it. And what are you cosplaying as? Uh, so it's just an outfit. Okay, yeah. awesome. High five for the outfit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Oh my God, it's a dog! Can we pet your dog? Yeah. Awesome. What's his or her name? Her name is Shuffle. Shuffle. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just going crazy oh, with the corgi. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, you like that? She's nice, she's nice and Oh, that's why she's so short. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. I saw you earlier. Oh wow, it's a fire truck from Japan. Oh. Japanese fire truck. This is a Japanese fire truck. I guess they have small fires in Japan. Yeah. I got two bags on. <laughs> two bags? Oh yeah. We have the same thing. Are you sure? Yours, yours is wider though. This is the one that I went with. Single zipper pocket in the front, big zipper pocket, double divider, and a little pocket in the back. I got tired of holding stuff, switched to this GoPro, so we just went ahead and uh, you know did that. It's not a purse. It's not a purse. It's a dark magician girl. Are you the darkish magician girl? Yeah, this is where all the really good food is. Ooh, that guy's going in. Oh, 
Oh man, that's the takoyaki line. They're moving. Wow. Is this the end of the line? Is this the end of the line? Okay. All right, well, we're making a line. So we totally formed our own line and uh, got to the front. They said that that's not the line and that uh, the line was back here. So we are all the way back here now. It's all good because the udon looked great. Yeah, it is pretty good. Yeah, fish cake is pretty sweet. The addition of the egg and the and the chili powder makes a difference. Oh yeah. Wow, these, <laughs> these udon noodles taste different from frozen ones. I wonder if they're making them themselves. You know how there's that giant gap that we're Naruto? Ooh, yeah. The Naruto is like really fishy. No, it does make fish cake. <laughs> this fish cake is fishy. <laughs> it's gonna be like sweet. <coughs> oh my god, I almost choked. Ooh, it's like marinated in soy sauce, I think. Sweet soy. The egg is hard boiled. Oh yeah. This is looking great. Is that fish cake? Got some spinach. Let's incorporate that spinach in there. The spinach is feeling a little bit lonely. Right. I'm go ahead, split this egg. Oh yes. 
Yes, sir. Mm. I love hard boiled eggs and noodles. So genius. What would you rate this versus like maragame udon that you know that they make themselves? I mean, I like maragame udon. I think this is decent. Um, I think this is pretty high up there. Like, I kind of like that it's not too salty. I, would, I mean, for me, like on my scale, like out of 10, I probably do like... On my scale? Yeah, <laughs> I would do like six and a half, maybe. I mean, it's, it's good. It's average, you know. I think I wish... Um, they included more toppings. Mm. I think I could have done without the spinach, honestly. I think I wanted more tempura flakes or maybe maybe like a spicy option for udon rather than like having to put chili powder in. You know what would go so well with this? Like a scoop of uh, scoop of like seasoned beef. Yeah, or, or like seasoned ground beef, you know what I mean? Or maybe if they had like different broth flavors rather than it, you know, this just stick to one, I feel like. I think it's decent. I mean, it's, be it's better than some like restaurant quality croissants that I've had. Yep. But I mean, I love marigami. <laughs> marigami is great. But I would say it's like it's a like decent. It's like a good size portion for like one person. The broth is too salty, very light. Um, toppings are very limited though, and then um, I have. Yeah. Um, but I'll say yeah, these two bowls were twenty-two dollars, so an egg was an additional charge. So if you want more toppings, you have to pay for it. But if you had it wasn't that bad. It was like a dollar an egg. Yeah. It wasn't that bad at all. But it's going for a good cause, so. Yeah, it's going for a good cause. It's going for um, alternative elementary school, right? Yeah, it's going to like a school program, like their Japanese English bilingual program, I believe. Yeah. It's pretty good. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish this udon and then we're gonna get into the, the next line. <laughs> hey, give me a konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. What's your favorite anime character? I can't pick. I can't, can't pick. pick. Wise man. Oh, you have one? Uh, I was kind of thinking about it. No, you can't choose. But I can't, no. about the new uh, Grindelwald? Um, you know, I was very confused because there's another actor that actually looks like him, so I was expecting him, you know, for Johnny Depp to be in the movie. I wish he was. 
I don't think he looked like him. But, but, but like his, uh, it's you know, very the, similar the face structures yeah. and like the. It, I, I got confused with both of them because they look very similar. Yeah. But I think because Johnny Depp was like all white, like white eyes, you know, I, yeah. feel, I feel like he would portray a better than Yeah, we, we won't. Um, we won't have any spoilers. We won't have any spoilers in this video. You can... It's actually pretty cool. This is uh, Japanese artwork. I'm just joking. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> explain more. Explain more. What do you see? What are the emotions that you feel when you look at this art? I see a phoenix. You Crazy. see a phoenix? What does the phoenix mean to you? Dumbledore is gay. <laughs> <laughs> so you should go watch it. I think out of ten, it'd probably be like a seven and a half. Comment down below if you think his secret is. Comment down below if you know his secret. Comment it down below without any uh, any spoilers, except the secret. And then we'll let you know if your your comment matches our comment. Okay, but if you don't know it, drop some eggplants down. Drop some eggplants. If you don't want an eggplant, drop an emoji. What's your name, man? My name's Ephraim. Ephraim. Like F and rum. F and rum. Hell yeah. yeah. I love rum. Nice to meet you. Uh, cool, man. My name's Nate. Nice to meet you, Nate. Yeah, man. So what were you telling me about this place? So this place has stuff like mochi, but uh -huh. my favorite thing to get here is this like ice cream sandwich thing. They're called Monaco's, or, but it's like, so it's like a, a waffle, but inside of it, so it, there's ice cream inside of it, right? Uh -huh. but in between the ice cream, ice cream and the waffle, there's chocolate. Ooh. So there's a strawberry one. The strawberry one has white chocolate, and then there's a matcha one with uh, chocolate, blue probably. Chocolate. Yeah, my bad. No, no, uh, you're green. Right. And then there's a vanilla one with no chocolate. I think I might have to get one. I just saw the onigiri. And I was like, ooh. Oh, I see. I didn't know yeah. they sold, sold that here. Oh yeah. All right, man. Cool. Hell yeah. This is in line here. Do you know the name of the place? No, okay. Well, well, we'll find out. Hell yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, here's our spread. We've got a couple onigiri. One is a salmon, a spicy salmon onigiri. The other one is a spicy shrimp onigiri. We got one taiyaki. What drink was this? Latte from Gina Bates. Hodija Latte. And then we also got some butter mochi from Gina Bates. And then these um, is what the baked goods that we got. Yeah, Can we'll, you name them and point to them? Yeah, so this is the Kalbi uh, croissant. It's in collaboration with Deho, which is a popular Korean restaurant here. We also have their garlic chive scone that I'm excited to try. This is a mango pan cotta, and then this is also a uh, burnt cheesecake. Ooh, very nice. And this is a berry mochi, and this is a dango, or a dango. And uh, it has a, another name in the beginning, but that's pretty much what we got so far. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Um, I think I'm gonna try this dango first. What this is, it's a I think it's a soy sauce, so, soy, like a soy sauce. It's like a soy base, like soy thick base glaze, sauce. but the dango itself is kind of like... It's um, a mochi. It's a mochi, yeah. Yeah, it's a mochi. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this one. Never had this before. Ooh. Oh! It's definitely mochi, but it's a savory mochi. Like, I can... I feel like I could have this as a meal. Hey, you want to try? I've had it once before, but I don't remember if I like it. Oh my god. The mochi is very chewy. It's very fresh. The sauce is like sweet. It's almost like a lighter version of like a like a barbecue sauce maybe. It's good, right? Yeah, it's like a sauce like it's similar to like the what what they put on like takoyaki. Yeah. But the I like I really like the mochi consistency. It's not it's like dense but still very chewy and soft. Yeah. So I, I feel like it might be like fresh. 
this down with a little hojija latte. Did I say it right? Hojija? Hojija or ojija? H-O. Ho. Hojija. Ho. Hojija. Hojija. It's like a roasted green tea. So it's, um, as you can see from the color right here, it's roasted green tea latte. Really good. Great to wash that down with. They actually heated up the, um, the onigiri, which is great. And this is the takoyaki, they, I think they made that fresh. So let's just see. Okay, so this one is the spicy shrimp with mayo onigiri. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm starting to become desensitized to... What? How does that work? <laughs> Look what happened. I ripped the wrapper off and the seaweed is outside of the wrapper. How can Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Got it, got it. There you go. Oh, it was just tucked. Oh, because they have to heat up. Okay, I get it. They have to heat up the rice. I honestly feel like I messed this up. Oh, well. Oh, here we go. There we go. Boom. Problem solved. Ooh, it's nice and warm, too. Nice and warm. How do I... Ah, okay. Oh, okay. because Oh, I was supposed to keep it on as like a handle. <laughs> well, the more you know. It's okay. Yeah, so let's just get a good look at that inside. So it's basically a rice ball wrapped in nori, aka seaweed, dry seaweed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Bottoms up. Seaweed was sticking to every side of my mouth. It smells good. It smells oh. really good. Oh, there you go. You have the salmon? No, this is no, the shrimp. This is the shrimp. Sorry. So I wasn't sure if I was getting any shrimp or not. Here you go. I wasn't sure if I was getting any shrimp or not. But um, at the end, I did. A little bite there. <laughs> it's sticking to every part of your mouth, right? So this is this pretty much it's it's it it's is what, what you it, think it is. It's it, I think it's like spicy mayo. It's supposed to be spicy mayo. I feel like they really skimped out on the shrimp because you have to really eat get into the middle to actually get the shrimp. Oh, there's a the shrimp. Yeah, it, it, they cut it up in little bits, but I would say it's not spicy. I mean, flavor is okay. I think if they added um, if they had like some chili powder on top, I think that would be like. You can have the shrimp meat. That's my signal of my side of love. Next up, spicy salmon onigiri. Let me see if I can get this the right way. Okay, so there's instructions on this. Did you not read the instructions? I just saw pull and I was like, okay, pull. So it's, it's actually pull, pull, pull. So let's try this first pull. Let's see if I do this right. Boom, okay, that, that happened very nicely. Two, pull. Ah. This is what happens when you read instructions. And then, <laughs> pull. Ah, okay, here we go. All right, here, you can have the first bite of this one. So this is the spicy salmon onigiri, guys. It's nice and warm. Mm. Shout out Nail Tech. My Easter nail. Sheesh. Oh, it looks like you got some salmon in there. There's a good amount of salmon. It's very, it's like minced. And like the rice is still really warm. The nori is very crispy. Yeah, the, the nori is really thick is actually. It's like a really thick, thick seaweed. Don't really yeah. see that too much, too often. Good. Let's see if I can get a little bite of this. This is the one that I actually originally wanted. And then I added on the spicy shrimp. I 
think that what would be great is if we had a, a thing of the salmon for a cocky seasoning. You put it on oh, top. That'd be so good. That's what this is missing. Mm -hmm. Shout out salmon for a cocky. You guys don't know what that is? It's a rice seasoning. It's basically a rice seasoning with little bits of crispy dried salmon in it. Yet once you open it, you have to refrigerate it. But it's great. It is so good. You can, like you can just put it over rice and just eat it like that. I think that's what's missing. If we had like a little bottle of that just to shake it on top, I think that would just complete it. I feel like because like the salmon is good, but it's not like it doesn't have like that fishy taste. Like it's very minimal. Yeah, it's no. It's, it's more like a salmon jam. Right. In a, in a sense, yeah, like like similar to like a bacon jam, but like salmon. Could there be more salmon flavor? Yes. Sketch guy just passed by holding a stick. A threatening looking stick. Mm. Okay. That's what it should look like throughout. No, it wasn't. I think once you get to the bottom of the uh, of the rice roll or like the rice thing itself, it's pretty it has more of like that like that salmon flavor. Okay. And to wash down all that savory stuff? We got ourselves a green tea. This is unsweetened green tea. The oi cha, or oi, ocha, oya cha. There you go. Give it a good, give it a good toss. Shout out all my bartender friends out there. Just kidding, I'm not a bartender. Uh, let's go t from savory to baked goods. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is their Galbi croissant. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Alright. So what's in it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I started eating it. <laughs> you just want to eat it. Um, I don't blame you. There's cheese. There's pieces of like meat. I would say like Galbi. I mean, Galbi croissant. Um, there is some sort of like a sauce inside too. And, like, and it's all in a crispy croissant. What kind of cheese is it? Maybe mozzarella. I would. Mm. I would assume it's like a white. Like kind of looks cheese. like some bacon. Yeah, I think it's the galbi. Uh, this is pretty. This is one of my favorites. Let's try it out. Gina Bakes, Gabby Croissant, shout out Gina Bakes. If this is good, then shout out again Gina. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. first, first thing that pops into my mind from my mouth is how good that croissant is. It's literally a really good croissant. Nice and flaky. You can tell it's fresh. It's not stale at all. They're made fresh every day, too. I'm just gonna take a corner piece mm -hmm. so I can see Trisha salivating over there. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. I would, I would highly like, I would very much like to finish that right now. <laughs> it's really good, right? It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. This one, um, it's eight dollars per croissant, but I feel like it's worth it. But I would. That was eight dollars. This is eight dollars, yeah. But it's, it's good though, right? It's great. It's great. Yeah. Mm. That's why I got another one. <laughs> if this thing wasn't so damn good, I would have felt ripped off. But it's just that good. Like eight dollars is a little bit steep. Like maybe 
seven dollars tops. But eight, is, you, you know, you can buy a meal with eight dollars, you know. But this is this is really good. If you go to um, if you go to Day Ho, they actually have a dish that actually tastes like this too. We had that before, remember? It tastes exactly like it, but in a croissant form. Yeah, I highly recommend. I think they're only open weekends. You can do pre-orders, I believe, but it only guarantees that you actually receive the item. You don't get to cut the line. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, that thing is good. But they, they also have a cafe called... Uh, dang it, I looked at the side. It said morning. Wood? Morning something. No, morning no, wood? No, not morning wood. <laughs> that, that, that is a run place though. It used to be a run place. Um, yeah, I forgot, but that, that cafe is open like Thursdays and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Alright, on to the next thing. Alright, babe, what's next? So we have the Galbi Crystal. Uh, so good. So I guess to keep up with the savory, we're gonna try the garlic chive scone. This is something I haven't tried yet, but as you can see, there's like crispy bits of garlic right here. Ooh. And like embedded is like chives. So garlic chive scone. It looks like blackened garlic chive scone. Mm. So the garlic is very sweet. Sweet garlic. It's very sweet, but the the scone itself, um, you would think it's like very dry, but it's very, uh, it's very moist. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Those are my friends that know me personally, know that I love garlic. But, but he doesn't like scones. I don't like scones. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, it's just like, like it's hard to eat. It's like dry, it's like crumbly. Some people like that, I don't. You know. I like it. Like a dry crumbly uh, biscuit. I don't like those. I like moist, semi-chewy biscuits, you know what I'm saying? No. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a shot. That's that's the bite I'm going to take. Wish me luck. Uh, chive and garlic. Let's go. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? It definitely has some scone characteristics. First thing that comes up is the dryness of the scone. Yet again, did not fail. I think like what it is is that it gets stuck to the roof of your mouth, which is why it can be like kind of drying. But the flavor-wise, I feel like it's really good. But it's good because it's like a classic scone, but it has blackened garlic in it, and it just adds like a little. It's almost like a back of the throat kind of smoke, you know. Uh, very garlicky flavor. Um, would I buy this? No. Next on the list is this bad boy right here. Hello. This is a burnt cheesecake. It's basically a burnt cheesecake. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> what, it, what it is. Just a burnt cheesecake. Alright, let's just take a take a moment to appreciate the Samoyed. Oh, cute! Alright, now coming back to me now. <laughs> so, because we can't pick this up with our hands, we're going to go ahead and try it just like this. Burnt cheesecake. Ooh. Isn't this like, uh, like uh, that place in ceremony? Uncle Tetsu does sell them. Yeah. yeah. So I think I've had this before. Let's see if uh, there's any better. Mm. Yeah, um, burnt cheesecake. It's. it's I guess you can't. I just. I guess you can't just. <laughs> You're speechless. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> speechless. I, 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 I guess you can't go wrong with burnt cheesecake. No. Yeah, I'm excited. This is my first time trying it from Gina Bakes. It always looks really good. Mm. Right. So it's very creamy. It does taste more like a cheesecake, but the tetsu adds a little bit of like lemon dust to there, so you actually get the lemon. Mm. This is very creamy. Is this supposed to be lemon? No, some like with like some cheesecakes, I think to add. 
add like more of like a flavor note, you can add lemon zest to it or like orange zest. Okay. But this one, it just tastes like a regular cheesecake. Very soft, very creamy, very addictive. <laughs> oh yeah. Where will it go? Oh yeah, that's very rich. Like a month. Like even though it is a burnt cheesecake, like you don't get really much of like a like a burnt taste. Let's see if we can get a good photo. Mmm. It's exactly what you think it is. Mm -hmm. Burnt cheesecake. And it does, um, it doesn't have a crust. It's not like a typical cheesecake, so it's mostly just like cheese. Mm. Alright guys, we got three more things. We got this. Um, it's a mango. <laughs> you don't even know what you're eating. I'm gonna eat it though. <laughs> it's stale yogurt. It's a mango pancotta. Mango pancotta. And you know what that means? There's mangoes in it and there's pancotta in it. Alright? Take our spoon. So let's just appreciate that. Yeah, you can even see like the the vanilla bean in the actual pan cotter right here. If you see like the black specks, and then this is a mango uh, puree with like little mango chunks on top. Oh, look a candle wick. Wait a minute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> candle. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Stop wasting time. Bam. Sorry, <laughs> we just went from a sweet ass cheesecake to a sour ass this. Oh, Cordy. Sorry. I, I, Cordy you can't, break. You can't. Yeah, I, I do that if, if I go through taste profiles, especially sweet to sour. But uh, it's good. It's like a mango. It's like a mango jam almost. Not even a jam. It's like a. It's like a puree. Yeah, it's like a puree. Mango puree with little chunks of mango in there. And then this white stuff, I was trying to figure it out. It's like a yogurt. It's it's like, a, yeah, I would say consistency wise, I feel like it might be like, like similar to like a custard. Yeah. Maybe. It's like a custard slash yogurt. Yeah. But um, no distinct flavor. Not strawberry or anything like that. Um, it's cream, you know, not necessarily vanilla, but cream. Yeah, I feel like every time you do that, it's like with a tropical or like sour fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, it's almost like the consistency is like a crème brûlée, mm. um, but it's, very, it, it's it's vanilla based. Mm. But it's like custard like. But it does pair well with like the mango. It's not. Yeah. It kind of cancels cancels each other out, huh? It's like a, I just got a lot of mango that first time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it, I mean, the mango itself, it's like it is sweet, but you can tell like there are some sour. To it, so. no. I think it's what the solid mango is in, the, the jam looking yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I, think it's, I think it's good. It's something light to like end, uh, end the meal with. But. Yeah. Alright guys, like, the last thing. This is starting our dessert time right now. This right here is butter mochi. Uh, yeah, mochi is just a chewy rice cake pretty much. And um, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I wonder what the butter part is. This reminds me of a Filipino uh, rice snack, rice cake snack called puto. Yeah. And, and all those Spanish speakers out there, don't get offended because rice cake in, in Tagalog is puto. This is, uh, <laughs> this is buttered puto. <laughs> But it tastes like it tastes like puto. It's, it's just a classic, classic mochi. And then the last thing on our to-do list is this beautiful butter mochi. Oh, oh that's yeah. not berry mochi. Oh, uh, berry mochi. Sorry, berry mochi. I was berry wrong. <laughs> All right, cheers. Mmm. Oh man, that was soft. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so good. It's like, it's like a super soft cream starburst. <laughs> I just wanted to eat the <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Red bean, 
bean, it's um, I think on what I, what I said with lima bean. Like it's still good though. Bean. Honestly, I, I I can't even taste that. It's pretty good. It's like um, it's like biting into a cream starfish. It's mostly like strawberry. I think. It could be like a mixed berry. Yeah. yeah it's pretty good. It's really really good. saw, we ate, and we conquered. Uh, it's toward the end of the festival now. We got full bellies, and we still got a lot of food left to eat. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. If you like this video... <laughs> I'm so full right now. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Welcome all seven of you guys. Thank you for watching. We just wanted to make this outro a little bit better than before. Thanks. Oh, you didn't say you're signing out. We're signing out. We were in this bitch, now we out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs>